what's up youtube in today's video i will going to show you how to download and install microsoft office professional plus in your um, windows computer now it will work any on windows uh, operating system windows 7 windows 8 and especially the one that i am using windows 10 it it will work just fine so the first thing you'll need to do is um, to click the link in the description below um, and to download the Microsoft Office 2010 professional so f this is actually free you can download it for free and just go down here and find the download button at the very bottom so just click download and you will going to be um, um, opening a new tab and this will going to bring you to the download uh, page so just wait for that for a second and um, maybe you just have to wait for that so it's the internet is really really slow I don't like it so click here to proceed you can have just click a few buttons for the download so it is actually uh, um, bringing you to the download uh, page so as you can see it will now try to download the file so oh it's taking time but just wait for that there is no survey for this this is actually 100 percent legit so as you can see we have already downloaded a file and it's approximately 7400 749 MB which is quite not that quite hu huge um, it will actually take 30 minutes or 20 minutes it, de it basically depends on your internet uh, the speed of your internet so I will just cancel this because I've already downloaded the file so if you just if I'm sure you didn't download it so just click the link in the description below and follow the step and download the file and if you're done downloading the file make sure to uh, find it and go back um, I have a I have the feeling feeling that it is a rar file so you you have to extract it first for example this is a rar file right click and just is extract but it I've already extracted it and as you can see here is the disk image file or the, the what we call an ISO file so it is an ISO file so in Windows 8, Windows 8.1, Windows 10, you can open it directly. You can open it without any third-party software, any third-party app or program. But if you're on Windows 7, you'll have to install like um, a uh, ISO, um, something like Power ISO or something, any, any software that will open ISO file. But I'm on Windows 10 so as you can see I don't have to do that and just double click and as you can see I, w as I will try to f uh, me as you can see I'm going to this PC and it will create a virtual DVD ROM which is actually great so just open that thing there and go here and the very important thing is to read that but I don't have to because I'm I, I will going to make it fast faster so just click set up and it will going to prompt you and click yes I think I don't think it will show on the recording but just click yes it is just so basic so as you can see we have the installation UI oh this computer is really slow oh okay so as you can see 
you have to read that license and terms agreement but I will not because I don't have to and install now it will actually take some time and um, be just be patient guys and I will just pause the video cause cause it will actually take time So as you can see guys we finally have completed the installation process and now is uh, to close this one or you can just continue online but I have to close this it's basically it doesn't matter so I will just try to open uh, Microsoft Office 2010 so I will just try to find that in the start so as you can see we have the Microsoft Access Microsoft Excel 2010 Info Path Designer. We have something like OneNote, Outlook, Microsoft Outlook, PowerPoint, and Publisher, SharePoint Workspace, and the very popular Microsoft Word. So I will just open a couple of things right here. I will just open Microsoft Word. And Microsoft uh, PowerPoint. Let and let's re and and let's try if I have um, completed process. So open the Microsoft Word. And also the PowerPoint. So as you can see, I have um, finally opened Microsoft Word right here. I encountered I encountered some of problems, but that is not actually a problem. Uh, that was actually um, I was actually pretty doesn't I didn't see that coming, but it's actually successful there is no issue about that so I'll just try to open Microsoft PowerPoint oh. don't worry about what you have actually saw last time but that is not actually it doesn't matter it's just I have have clicked Microsoft w Word multiple times and it just got that um, message box right there so as you can see we have the Microsoft PowerPoint so um, this is the proof one of the evidence that I this tutorial is legit so I think that's that's it for this tutorial and if this tutorial helps you make sure to subscribe to my channel and if you like this video if you, and if you like how I, I I show you how how I showed you to do it just basically click the thumbs up button right there at the uh, bottom of the video and if you encounter some problems make sure that you have met the system requirement and one of them is it should be Windows XP above and Windows XP later I mean and memory it must be 256 RAM of, of the RAM required and uh, th 3 gig of free sp space and a Intel processor with a 500 megahertz or later um, okay that's it for this video and um, if you like uh, to share it to your friends make sure to click the share button at the uh, button uh, at the below below of this video and um, again if you didn't subscribe to my channel make sure to subscribe for more videos
Thank you for watching.